So this is a quick video to show how HappyScribe platform can be used to create captions in the form of translations. Here we have an interview video um, of Shadi, and I can just double check the title here. Um, and his video is on the on the right side. So basically, on the page, what you see is uh, the video and controls for playing it, rewinding it, or taking it forward, or playing it faster or slower, uh, in different speeds depending on my needs. On the left side are auto-created, auto-generated captions of him talking. And don't mind that these are in Amharic language. It's for a practical purpose that I need it. And further left are in and out points of these um, speech bubbles. Basically, they are when they appear in the screen and disappear. For example, in this case, from 10 to 15 seconds, the, um, the caption appears in the screen. Whatever I see here, is also at the bottom of the page and caption numbers one, two, three, four, and so on are corresponding to the same ones, one, two, three, and four, and so on at the bottom. And even further below are these little waves that are actually sound waves uh, of, the, of Shadi talking that will be helpful when I want to fine tune or understand when he's talking when he's not talking. Okay, so this is um, pretty much the platform. Oh yes, and then there is uh, the menu here on the right side, you can click on it and it takes you to some other options. One good one is the shortcuts. You can view it by clicking here and here's a list of the shortcuts that can make the process faster for you. The main one I'm gonna use is play and pause, which is with the button tab. If I forget which one it was, I can hover over the button. Now it also shows me what, which button it was um, as a shortcut. So in this case, it's tab. Okay, so if we rewind to the beginning and start with tab. I heard him and I am going to translate his uh, sentence into English quickly. What I noticed is that he was still talking and the speech bubble disappeared from the screen. I will play again so you can see. And what I can do is to click on my speech bubble here, the caption, and just stretch it to further beyond the, the audio waves that he has so that it's going to be visible in the screen. I have this flexibility to use the speech bubbles, make them longer or shorter, move them around, and pay attention to here as I move it around. Those numbers change, so I could also change them by clicking here and typing manually if I needed to. And if I continue, I see that. There is uh, him talking, but there is no speech bubble. For me to be able to add something, I go here to this right corner of the last speech bubble and I see two options, add paragraph or merge paragraphs. In this case, I'm going to add a paragraph. When I click it, it just appears in the empty space and I can stretch it to match the sound waves and I can, and then I can type in the translation. And if I need to delete anything, I come and just Click on the X. Just double checking that it's number two that I want to delete and it's number two here, then yes, I can just delete it. So this is pretty much the process. And it can be, once it's finished, all you need to do is to click on save changes here and wait until you see all changes are saved. Then I will be able to download the, the captions created, the translations created uh, in a format that is usable in my editing software.